Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG and I'm back with a brand new video and today I've got another informational video for you guys generally just going to tell you what I think you should be doing to improve your skill set on the game especially if you are newer to sim racing or a set of course or competition or any sim racing game to be honest um, and the thing I'm going to tell you guys what you need to be doing is personally from my experience sign up to racing leagues sign yourself up to racing leagues it doesn't matter your skill level um if you sign up to some of that aor there's plenty of tiers and stuff like that and um it's going to guarantee you're racing people on a similar level to yourself and the biggest reason why i would tell you to sign up to a racing league don't just go into online lobbies and just drive around and stuff like that i know a lot of people are casual but still um i feel like improvements definitely come with being in racing leagues and putting in a little bit more time with practice and stuff like that and it just generally boosts your know-how and your experience on the game. Now, a lot of people might say, well, I'm working. I don't have a lot of time. I've maybe got one or two hours spare um, a day or, or whatever. But in, in the case of that, truly, if you have to practice for half an hour and do a race, all it's going to do is build your confidence and build your know-how on specific tracks as well. So for me personally, that is how I originally started getting faster on from the beginning, even when I was playing f1 2010 back in the day i used to just go in online lobbies and you know mess around i'd, I'd be decent but it wasn't until i started doing leagues where i improved massively because you you practice more and when you practice for a track you get that track so down you get your setup so down and perfect for that track after that every time you go back to that track you've already got a setup you already got the car like you already know the car you already know the track like the back of your hand the way you should be braking where you should be accelerating and stuff like that and it just helps you just get faster now for me personally um i tend to not practice as much as i did back in the day that's because obviously i've got three kids i don't have as much time but the time that i do get i will get on the track i will do the laps and not only does it help you with just, you know, your driving, your, your race, lap times and stuff like that, but your consistency and your race setups, which are so important. A lot of people, you know, they don't have great race setups. They might be decent over one lap, but after four or five laps in the race, their tires are dying, the car's sliding all over the place. And that's, that's the critical part. You start to learn how to drive the car with heavier fuel. You start to learn the characteristics of your car with heavier fuel. Some cars are just not that nice to drive when the fuel's heavy, but then you will know that. So when you make your setups, you build your setup to have a better feeling when the car is heavy and not lose as much time. And these are the kind of things that you gain. You gain so much knowledge by doing racing leagues, bro. And not only that, you also get reference points from other people. Now there might be someone else who's similar to you, similar pace to you, but in the race, they end up way further down the road because they just have better setups. Then you know what to improve. Then you can even ask them, hey, how much tire wear did you have? You know, like, what lap times did you do in at the end of the race? And most leagues, people are pretty open, man. People are pretty cool. And plus, you can check it anyway. <laughs> you can go to the timetable, literally check what sort of lap times they were doing. And then you can start seeing, oh, this is where, this is where I was weaker. This is the sector that I was struggling in or whatnot. And then you can go on board. You can save the replays. You can watch what they were doing. And then... It's just all building knowledge, building knowledge, building knowledge. And trust me, guys, I'm telling you, it helps you find so much pace. Sometimes you might be driving around. Say you're doing single player. You're not someone who likes to really race online that much. You're doing single player and you're driving around the track and you feel like, you know, you got the track pretty decent. And then you go online and then you see that actually you're not that decent. So it, it pushes you to, to improve. Now, even if you might see someone who's going three or four seconds of that quicker, by the end of the time you've finished practicing for that, that race, he might only be, you know, two seconds quicker. Now, that might still be a big margin, but you've improved your own time by a good two seconds yourself. So it's all about the improvements. And I can guarantee you, even though sometimes you might get a bit pissed off, you might have incidents and stuff like that, but that can happen online as well. Um, and then it's just all about the, the steady improvements. Like the, the biggest thing as well is getting to know a car once you do a league and you do maybe six or seven races, I'm telling you, by the end of the by the end of the season, you know the car inside out, easy. So from there, you can literally jump on any track and perform in the car because you know the car so well. 
that's what used to happen with me with the Bentley. I did so many races in the Bentley that even if I didn't have a setup for a track, I could just quickly make one in like five minutes and I know it'd at least be decent because I just know the car. Kind of the same with the Aston and stuff like that. Now, there are other cars that are definitely more tricky, maybe like the AMG where you have to actually sit down, build a proper setup. But um, I'm telling you, for the, for the most part, you, you, you definitely want to get yourself signed up to a league and you never know how fast you might get, man. Some of, some of the guys in Tier 1 and AOR, these guys were Tier 2. They weren't... I, I remember like guys like Caracas. I remember when he first came around, he was, he was quick, but he wasn't like spectacularly quick. And now, all of a sudden, the guy's a beast. You know what I mean? This, this is what happens. There's a lot of guys that were, you know, um, sort of mediocre pace, but then with grinding, with leagues, with competing with some of the fastest guys, watching them, learning from them, you can gain so much time, man. I remember um, Jordan Sherratt sent me a lap at uh, Kiel Army one time. And I, I watched that. I must have watched that lap about 50 times because it was insane how fast he went. But you learn so much things. You learn like, oh, this guy, he's short shifting out of this corner. He's dulling down the revs at this corner. So that way the traction doesn't kick in and stuff like that, you know, or the back end is stepping out or he's just, just looking after the rear tires. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, that's what's going to help you improve. That's what's going to build your knowledge and just different ways of driving, you know, so much different ways of driving, so much ways you can improve as a driver. Don't just think like, oh, this guy is way quicker than me. Don't think you can't improve yourself. A lot of the time you just have to watch what they're doing and, and you know, try and formulate yourself. Sometimes even with me, I'll be watching something and I realize how can this guy is so much quicker through the sector and then I'll go on board, I'll watch their lap and they'll be in a higher gear, even though the, co the corner is a little bit more difficult in a higher gear, the higher gear might gain you a tenth and a half, two tenths, like wow, when, once I perfect that, that might be two and a half tenths, you know, stuff like that. Um, certain corners where people are not going down to first gear, they're just keeping it in second and they're able to floor the throttle without without the wheel spin because the, the revs ain't as high stuff like that and when you when you watch people you gain all this knowledge and people love to practice man especially for league so if you go into a practice server um where people are practicing just just watch these guys watch the fastest guys watch what they're doing and just try to replicate things slowly replicate things slowly even sometimes this is how deep it gets right at the top level right i can tell you this for a fact right Especially if you're in like split one, you're really fast and there's some other guys in the same car as you and they're really fast, but they're doing lap times or they're doing sector times that are like insane. You're thinking, what the hell is he doing, bro? I can tell you the amount of times that we've hit F7, F7, right? Just to zoom in to see what his car is doing over the curbs, trying to get an idea what he's running on his setup just by looking at how his car is dealing with the curbs. That's how deep it can get. But those are the small improvements that you may need. Now, not everyone's going to take it that seriously, okay? <laughs> but, you know, for guys who are relatively casual, even if you are casual, everybody wants to improve. So for me, I would get myself signed up to a league um, and just, you know, just do a bit more practice and whatnot. Give yourself a bit more experience in the game and you'll end up learning more about the tyres. You'll end up learning more about the transitions between wet and dry. You end up learning more about driving in the wet. You end up learning more about how the car handles in the wet, how the car handles in green conditions, and all these all these things, just to build knowledge. And then when you go online in a normal online lobby, you're you're going to be a lot more advanced than the casual player. And that's the difference. When you go in online lobbies, you can almost tell the people that do league races, because in an online lobby where you're only doing maybe 10, 15 minutes, they don't have no tire drop off, their pace doesn't drop off, they don't make many mistakes. You know, you, you don't get the like crazy, crazy dive bombs and foolish behavior because their mentality is a lot different to the casual, casual online, you know, online guy who just jumps on just to have a bit of fun, you know? And obviously it is a bit of fun. As I said, some people don't have the time, but even if you don't have the time, I'm sure you'd want to improve and be faster than what you are. So guys, hopefully you guys take my advice, get yourself signed up to a league, even if it's only a few races, See what you can do. Anyway, guys, it's CryptoTNT. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.